How's it going guys? I'm John with My Everyday Tech and this is iLife V7S Pro, a $170 robot vacuum cleaner. Yes, I know robot cleaner has been around for ages, but they are either too expensive or downright useless at their job. And that is what exactly I thought until I've used the V7S Pro for a month. And here's my experience. The design is not something I would say outstanding. Well, it looks just like many other robot cleaners out there in the market. But at least the pink color looks nice on it. There are a couple of sensors and switches around the robot to help with the navigation. Optical sensors and bumper switch at the front to detect the walls. And there are even IR sensors at the bottom for edge detection. So that it won't go straight down the stairs. Sure, it doesn't have floor mapping function like those expensive models. But for $170, the navigation algorithm on the iLife V7S Pro is pretty good. But since a single full charge would power a robot cleaner for around 2 hours and a half, that shouldn't be a problem. It managed to clean the space without having any issue with the furniture, just that it tends to bump into them more often than it should. Besides, you have to make sure there are no cloth floor mats which might cause the robot cleaner to get stuck. The V7S Pro supports two cleaning options, dry vacuuming and wet mopping. The dry vacuum uses a combination of roller brush and a vacuum motor. The dirt is then collected in the filtered dust box for easy cleaning. While the vacuum motor is kind of weak, nonetheless, in actual real-life usage, the overall cleaning ability is better than what I initially expected. Wet mopping function is pretty straightforward. A cloth is velcroed to the mop base and attached to the bottom of the robot cleaner. Fill up the water tank and you're good to go. The robot cleaner will regulate the water flow while it moves around mopping the floor. There is even a remote control for you to override the navigation algorithm in case you want to remotely control the robot to clean a certain part of the floor. But most of the time, I'm only using it just to command it to start cleaning and back to the dock. Docking and charging are fully automatic as the robot is capable of optically recognizing the dock position. My personal experience so far has been very positive. And if you're in the market looking for a robot cleaner to ease your burden, I'm sure this $170 will be very well spent. In my case, having the robot cleaner helping me to vacuum the floor for one hour every single day means that I don't have to vacuum the floor that often anymore. So right now, I just mop the floor like once a week because the floor felt a lot more cleaner than before. Like I said, robot cleaners are here to help us to reduce our workload. It's not that they are capable of eliminating the needs of manual cleaning, but at least you get to do some other work while the robot is cleaning the floor. That's all for this review. Thank you so much for watching. Do let me know what you guys think of the iLife V7S Pro down in the comment section below. If you want to learn more, there's a link in the description. I'm John with my Everyday Tech. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.